Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel 9 e-commerce series. So now guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to make a filter option. So for what we are going to filter, we are going to filter the orders. Okay. So we will be filtering by date and the status. So guys, now let's get started. So first let's move to this page guys. That is my orders. Okay. So go to your web.php and just check for the route orders and it goes to index function at order controller. So let's move there. And here is our index function and you redirect to your admin orders index. So let's go to this file guys. Now you have reached here and now guys, this is the my order heading. So which we see here. Okay. So this is my order heading. And now inside this card body, we are going to start the filter form design. Okay. So use a form tag first form and the method we are going to keep as get method, which is get. And now guys, let's then column MD three, a simple label. Let's remove this filter by date and the input tag. Okay. And this input type, it's going to be a date and then give a value. By default, HTML format is year, month and date guys. All set. Now let us copy this and paste again here filter by status. And we do not require this input. Instead, we require the select option. So select, it's going to be a class, the option here, select status. And then guys, again, another option for in progress. So let me just list out guys, all the statuses in this option. So these are my options guys over here for the order status. And now let's type here form select and then status. Okay. So it's a status and one more name we have to copy and paste inside this input tag. Okay. So let's paste here and this name it's going to be a date. That's it. And now guys the remaining column how much it's column MD six and you can break the line first and then design a simple button here you tell filter and class button button primary and this button type it's going to be submit submit done all set guys and here after the form end i just want a horizontal row and now guys let's check the output refresh perfect so we have got this filter by date and filter by status so here you see the date you can select and then your status is cool and now guys let's when you submit this you are going somewhere right so it's taking action on the same page okay so let's click filter here filter you see that the date has been selected and let's select this in progress also and you see the parameter has been passed. So both the data are coming. Now let's write the code in the controller. So let's get back to order controller.php on the index function because we are going to that page itself. So first step, we are going to accept all the request dollar request. Okay. So get our post any request it's given. We have to check from this filter. Okay. So now let me comment this code and let's copy again so we don't mess with that code for the backup we are keeping it so first step i just wanted to format this format by year month and date okay so let's return and check this guys first return and you should get something in this format only okay year month and date refresh Cool. So you are getting the today's date. Okay. And now at this where condition, let's bring this down and use a when function and get the request. 
request of your date so this date is nothing but your input field name whatever you pass in the url okay get back not equal to null function open and close curly brace let me bring align it and this where date let me keep here like this and break it down okay so it's more clear to understand so guys here dollar query or just type q and we want the input also this request also okay so let's use this inside this use a request and now you use this dollar q and paste and just take where date function i mean this same code let's copy this and and paste here done guys and give semicolon here i have extra arrows and now guys you need to return and now instead of today date you need to get the request of date okay so dollar request dollar request of date as simple so this was for the date guys and now let's copy this again and paste below for the status so let me just get the url parameter status and use the request of status and here you are going to use status underscore message and this is not a date so just add a where condition over here and now guys here use a comma and add a function open and close open and close curly brace where we need to get the dollar q that is query and we will update here this code control x and paste here done and now guys we are using the today date so let's get that use today date so this today date you are getting from here give a space it should be more clear done guys so now guys let's check the code once okay so when this is found and when request date is found okay done and status is found then you are going to do this and else you will do this oops we see that we have pasted this condition wrong let's control x this function and paste inside this when okay so when the request date is like not given so at that time you have to take today date only okay that's it and now guys let's save and let's get back so let me clear everything and refresh so it should load today date by default perfect so we have loaded the today date and now guys let's go into filter with date 15 so let's check here let me get that 15 date here you see that we have 11 15 and 22 okay so i'm selecting 15 and just filtering it i'm not starting selecting the status still okay so we have three orders three four five okay so these are the orders three four five which is id three four five okay done and one and two is the 11 date so 11 filter perfect so you are getting the data guys and now let me just filter whatever date we are selecting here filtering it by default it should come so for that let's go to our index blade and you need to set here request colon colon get question mark question mark so inside this get method you have to pass date why date we are passing here the parameter as date so that date whatever date comes here it will print in this so now guys refresh and you see that 22 11 date right so you'll find 11 9 2022 perfect so now guys coming to status we need to filter and keep selected okay so here you see status is in progress but it's telling select status by default it should be selected this so for that let's get back and inside this value let me just control d d d and give a space here put double curly brace and type request colon colon get method and then is double equal to the data and 
that data is this okay so let's paste here and here it should be status done so let's keep this for all select and paste done and now guys this completed value pending cancelled and out of delivery out for delivery okay and you have to give the ternary operator over here let me just select this control d d and give the question mark colon else this so if it is correct data means mention selected else null that's it guys so this was for the select option and now if you refresh you will see that in progress perfect so you got that on 11 date you have in progress two datas so guys on 11 date i just wanted to make it to be completed so these are my two 11 date and here you see status message in progress and let's make one order as completed let's enter okay so i have changed this message status as completed now refresh guys here you will see only in progress data and now if you filter like all select status or all okay so you get all that data on that date okay so we can rename this select all status okay so it will be more clear if we select all status means it will be displayed all the messages perfect now guys in progress and in completed if you filter you will get only filter data id number two on this particular date so guys let's get back and just make it how it was in progress okay so let me update it here and so guys we have successfully completed with how to filter orders and now guys let's continue in next video with how to update this order status okay so we are going to see how we can manage all the orders so in this video that's it guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share